everyone's got any other like good programs out there that don't be derp on me that are like Camtasia, it'd be appreciated if you could recommend me one. Anyway, um, so there's a fitsonic.pac which has the move set, and the move set currently that you get right now has uh, the chaos control and the guns enabled, which are accessible through taunting. When you taunt as shadow, you get a gun on one on the up taunt, and then on the down taunt, you get chaos control activated. If you have chaos control, it takes a while to charge up, but you get chaos, if you have it charged up, chaos control activates and slows down enemies. But um, you can choose to turn that off so, because this guy made some files called no CC, no gun CC, and no gun. If you want to have no guns, just simply rename the fitsonic.pac to underscore to fitsonic dot fitsonic underscore gun and cc and then rename fitsonic no gun to fitsonic and then you'll have no guns same for the rest of the files if you don't want no cc rename it to fitsonic rename the other one to um something else that you can remember it by and if you don't want guns or CC, you know, rename it to Fitsonic and rename the and the other one to something you can remember it by, and then make sure it's not make sure you rename it to something else because you know you can't have two files with the same name. And you know, if if you haven't caught on by now, you know, Brawl identifies files by certain names. If it's Fitsonic, it's going to use that move set. If it's Fitsonic underscore gun and CC, it's going to ignore that file completely and be like, I don't know what that is because it doesn't. It doesn't look for that file, it looks for Fitsonic. It's crucial that you understand this. Because if you think, oh, if I name it Fitz Shadow 00, then it'll be a new character in the game, or it'll identify it because it's Fitz Shadow. No, it doesn't know what Fitz Shadow is! You're replacing Sonic with Shadow, so you put in sh these files that have replacements in them, and you're replacing Sonic's files that have shadow in the files. In order to play Sonic, you have to have Sonic's files that are just modified. It's basically a modified Sonic to be like shadow, if you want to get technical. Anyway, just in case any of you are confused or anything like that and thinking different ways, I'm trying to make this really clear. So, I hope you understand this. So, that should be simple enough for you guys to understand. So, after you have selected the move set you want for the guy, for the character, for the for uh, for Shadow, just simply, got uh, okay. Hold down Control and select the files around here. Wait, actually, no. Just drag and <laughs> Control C, and then paste them in here. And there you go. All your files are in here in the Sonic folder and the game will look for them in the Sonic folder and be like, okay, replace, boom, shadows, sh Sonic is now Shadow, there you go. And if you want Hyper Shadow, that's, they do the same thing, only there's no, this time there's no gun turn off or CC turn off thing. Doesn't look like there is anyway, that's kind of weird. Because Hyper Shadow, I think, has the same moveset and has guns and CC too, so I wonder why he decided not to include. I don't know, maybe he, maybe he did, we got lazy or something. Yeah, but I don't care about Hyper Shadow, but if you do, that, that's cool, whatever. Um, I mean, it'd be f it's fun to use, probably fun to use in like All Star mode or Classic mode if you want to just plow through the whole thing to a speed run, but for actual battles, it's like too overpowered, but it, it would be, it, I mean, the only time, the only time I would use an overpowered, uh, moveset is to, to use it against another overpowered moveset, so that's fair, if I use it against some guy who's, like, weak, like Diddy Khan, or anybody, that for that matter, like, even Meta Knight, like, I could probably just kill him, no problem, with Hyper Shadow. Anyway, um, so, you'll notice something in Hyper Shadow's folder, Fit Sonic Zero X Dark, and you'll notice two of them here. That's for um, that's because you know Brawl likes to have two files, as I explained earlier. PAC and PCS. PAC does online, and then PCS is for offline. And if you want, okay, this is for this a texture. This is just to make Hyper Shadow look like dark 
Super Shadow. You know, there's a Dark Super Sonic. So, they people like to have Dark Super Shadow too because you know that's cool. People like Shadow, so they want Sonic Shadow to have that same ability. And it's a cool, cool looking texture. So, just if you want Dark Super sh Dark Hyper Shadow, Dark Hyper Shadow, you uh, what you what you want to do is you want to pick out what color you want to replace. Um, I don't know which one is which right now. I don't think, but I think. Fit Sonic Zero Zero. That's the default, of course. That's the blue one. Fit Sonic Zero One. Zero One is always red for almost every character. For almost every character, Zero One is red. But um, some characters, their default color is red. So Zero Zero One with Zero One uh, is for something else in those characters. Anyway, um. Zero, I think zero two. I know zero five is black, like where he's all dark colored Sonic. Zero four, probably green, and zero two is yellow then. So if you want to, like, say, put it over yellow, then rename Fit Sonic zero two that PAC to um, yellow. And then we name the other one to. Here I'm just okay. Fit that we name them. We name both the PCS and PIC to Fit Sonic Zero Two underscore Yellow. <sighs> and then um, just go up to the ones labeled Dark. We name we name Fit Sonic Zero X Dark to Fit Sonic Zero Two on both of them. And there you go. You have now replaced the yellow costume of Shadow with um excuse me. With the dark hyper shadow texture. If you and that's pretty much how it is for the rest of them. You just rename it to that that file and it should replace that costume. Or color or whatever you wanna call it. And that's pretty much it for characters. It's not that hard to understand. You just Gotta get down the basic idea. Anyway, um, if you guys have, or have, I think I made it pretty clear, but if you guys have any questions or are unclear about certain things in this tutorial, um, let me know in, in the comments and I'll explain it. I'll try to, try to explain it more. If you guys are still confused about, cer about certain things, P please specify what you're confused about in the comments and I'll try to address it in the next video. And then in the next video, I'll also talk about stages and replacing them and stuff. So, um, see you next time.